Ben, first of all, let's talk about your organisation, Remedy. What does that do? So Remedy are a charity. They've been going for nearly 20 years now. Um, we provide youth offending services, mentoring. Uh, we work in schools and also in the adult criminal justice system, providing restorative justice in four or five regions across the north of the country now. You mentioned restorative justice. What's that? Um, restorative justice is a, a response to conflict that looks to repair some of the harm caused by bringing together the people involved, um, which often means victim and offender in the aftermath of a crime having some kind of communication, giving the victim an opportunity to ask questions about what happened and giving the offender an opportunity to take responsibility for what they've done. Now, Laura, you have been a victim of crime. Tell me what happened to you. I was at work one night. I work in a shop and a man came in. He asked for something that we didn't have. Um, I offered him an alternative. It's, it wasn't what he wanted. It started with little insults, calling me stupid and things like that, which escalated to um, racial insults. Um, threat, th he threatened to kill me, threatened to rape me. Um, and it kind of carried on there and it, it was really frightening, really, really frightening because he said it was such conviction that he, he was going to do these things to me. Presumably he was arrested after that and prosecuted. He was, eventually, yes. And, and you decided to, to, to seek restorative justice as well? A practitioner from Remedy actually approached me and she came around, she explained what Remedy did, who they were and what it could do for me. Just having time to speak to her and go through my thoughts and feelings and you know take a step back and sort of gave me that confidence to take the step forward and we we eventually set up a a meeting what did that man who had said so many horrific mm. things to you say when you met him he was so, he was sorry he he didn't know at the time everything that he'd done because he was so drunk but the police played back the um 999 call centre tapes and the CCTV. Um, once he heard that and, see it and saw what he'd done, he, he was sorry. He did apologise more than once. And how did that make you feel, to hear an apology from, from the person who'd actually committed the crime? He made it quite clear that it wasn't personal, that it wasn't because it was me. Um, and the second time he apologised, it did feel like um, he meant it. Ben, this must say to you that, you know, restorative justice can work, both presumably yeah. for Laura, but also for her assailant. Yes. Yeah, and, and that's the fantastic thing about the process, actually, that it's, it's uh, flexible and able to adapt depending on who's involved. Statistically, it's got an astonishingly high rate of victim satisfaction um, of over 85%, and it's also proved to reduce the frequency of reoffending. So it really, it really does have an impact, yeah. Has, has it made you feel better about going back to work now, Laura? I like being at work now. I'm comfortable at work again. I'm quite happy being on the shop floor in public. I don't hide anymore. Fascinating charity. Really good to hear about it. And, and I'm really grateful to you, Laura, for coming and telling us your story. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank you.